Hi friends, this is Farmer Lori with Garden City Harvest. And this month for Farmer in the Classroom, we are going to be talking all about apples. We're gonna talk about the life cycle of an apple tree and what makes Montana a really special place for growing these fruits. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna dive in to learn a little bit more about apples. As you can see, this guy's pretty excited about it. He's doing his happy apple dance. Uh, like Farmer Jason showed us in our last Farmer in the Classroom video, we have here a map of the state of Montana. So last time, he told you that this is kind of the forehead, kind of looks like a person's face to the side, right? So this part right here is like someone's forehead. And then as you come down the side of Montana, um, it's like an indent for the eyeball, where the eye of the face might be. And then we have the nose and the mouth and the chin on this person's face. And that makes it a little bit easier to remind ourselves what the state of Montana looks like. Uh, but last month, or in the last video, we would have gone ahead and labeled Missoula. So Missoula is where we are located in the eyeball of our state. And what I want you all to do, maybe you have your farmer in the classroom packets out, you can go ahead and you can put an apple in the space right below that eye, that dot for Missoula. Because right below Missoula on our Montana map is the Bitterroot Valley. And the Bitterroot Valley is a nice place for growing apples. So about 100 years ago, if you had driven down past Lolo, maybe to Hamilton, you would have seen hundreds of apple orchards. And that's because the Bitterroot Valley is a wonderful place for growing apples. So we can draw an apple right there. How does an apple tree grow? So like most plants, apple trees begin their life cycle as a baby seed. When the seed has the right conditions, like light and water and nice warm soil, it will sprout and it will become a baby sprout and it will turn into a seedling and then a sapling is what we call a young tree. And then it grows a little bit larger and eventually will become a mature tree with fruits on it. Now, a fruit, friends, is anything that has a seed inside of it. Okay, so is a pumpkin a fruit? Yes, because a pumpkin has a seed inside of it. Is a orange a fruit? Yeah, because it has a seed inside of it. Apples are fruits too, because they have seeds inside of them. When an apple tree is fully grown, it will be able to make apples that have seeds inside. And then we could take the seeds out of those apples and start that cycle all over again. Apple trees look a little bit different every season. So in the springtime, so a little bit more when the weather starts to warm up at the end of the school year, you will see blooming trees everywhere. And an apple tree in the springtime has lots of blossoms on it. So just like these trees, it's got some apple trees have white blossoms and some apple trees have pink blossoms. And after they are pollinated, they will be able to make apples. An apple tree is usually pollinated by a bee. So a bee will visit one of these little flowers and it will deposit pollen from a different apple flower. And once that has happened, it will be able to make a fruit. I think it's really cool 
that the apple trees actually need help from bees in order to make apples. So without the help of the bees in the springtime, the apple trees would never be able to make an apple. But here they are making beautiful blossoms in the springtime. And then in the summer, apple trees will lose those pretty blossoms and they'll grow lots of bushy green leaves. Usually in the summertime, you will see some young, immature green apples on the trees. And right now, they don't really have any seeds inside of them and they taste kind of sour. In the autumn or the fall is when we begin to see nice red ripe apples that we are used to. So just as the apple leaves will change color in the autumn, apples will change to that deep red color too and they can be picked and they are ready to eat. In the winter time, an apple tree looks kind of sad, right? It loses all of its leaves and everything is covered in snow. But the apple trees are still alive. They're kind of sleeping. They're hibernating, kind of like a bear does in the winter. And if you ever look closely at an apple tree in the winter time, you'll notice that they have actually grown some fuzz on the buds of their leaves to protect themselves from the cold weather. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so here we have another picture of what an apple tree might look like in each of the seasons. So again, in the spring, there are new flowers and tiny leaves. And then in the summertime, we have an apple tree with lots of green leaves and young green apples. In the fall, those apple trees have nice ripe fruit on them and the leaves begin to change. And in the winter, this is kind of what the apple trees look like now in December, the tree is dormant and all of the leaves have fallen off. And the little buds are just waiting till the springtime, till it warms up again. Now, this is a map of our country. Here at the top, is our state of Montana. And this map is trying to tell us something in particular by the different colors. Maybe you can guess what that is. The purple and blue colors are telling us that this is a colder place on the map. And the reds and orangey colors are telling us the warmer places on the map. So places at the bottom of the map are very warm tropical places. This state that I'm circling here is Florida. And you can see that it's mostly red and orange. And up here is Montana and it's mostly purples and blues and even some dark pink. Apples grow best in places that have cold winters. So these are areas like Montana, that's purple. In places like Florida, where it's warm all winter long, you cannot grow apples. Apples need to have lots of cold weather in order to grow well. So that's what makes Montana kind of a special place for growing apples. Okay, so let's um, play a little guessing game here. I'm gonna pick up a, a state and I'm gonna circle it. If you think that they can grow apples in that state, give me a big thumbs up. If you think that you cannot grow apples in that state, give it a big thumbs down. 
how about this state? Yeah, we can grow apples in that state. That is the state of Oregon, and they have nice cold winters for growing apples. What about this state? No, so that's Texas. And you could probably grow apples maybe in the super northern parts of the state, but they don't really have long cold winters that apples need. Good, okay, and we'll do one more of the state. Yes, that's the state of Maine, and in Maine you can grow lots of tasty apples because it has a nice, cold, long winter. I hope you learned a little something about the life cycle of an apple tree and why we can grow apples so well in some parts of our country and not so well in others. Go grab yourself a few apples to taste and tune in to part two of our apples lesson in the next short video.